Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning in to our November issue of Inside Darley. I'll tell you, if you're like our company or other organizations who operate on a calendar year, you're probably in the final throes of uh, finalizing your 2014 budget. And this issue of Inside Darley is designed to give you some tools to help you finalize your plans, whether it's a formal budget or not. Our first attachment here is an excellent report that's put out annually by the National League of Cities. It was just released on Octo late in mid-October 2013, and it really talks to the uh, fiscal conditions for municipalities across America. The report shows that all in all great news. First off, that 72% of municipalities reported that they're better off in 2013 than they were in 2012. And they're also seeing the first increase in funding that they've seen since 2016. So while property tax revenue is still declining, sales tax revenue and other revenue is increasing. And at the same time, in many areas, they've cut back funding or cut back spending in order to uh, maintain a required balance budget. On page six of this report, you'll notice that 62% of the uh, communities report that there's an increase in public safety expenditures for 2013 and 2014. So that's great news. Also on page 11, it talks about the general lag that takes place between the economy and municipalities. So we encourage you to download that. Also go to their website at nlc.org. And uh, they had a great report released in April and other good information there. Another good source of information is FEMA, the Fire Apparatus Manufacturers Association. And while we can't share detailed statistics with you, all of the fire apparatus manufacturers in North America, whether they're a member of FEMA or not, report on new, new in, uh, incoming orders and shipments during uh, each quarter. And the first two quarters of 2013 were up significantly over previous quarters, as well as over the same periods in 2011 and 2012. So that's very positive news on the, uh, on the fire apparatus end as well. And in fact, Fire Apparatus Magazine just interviewed us and we've attached another second download here is five questions where they came in and interviewed me at our plant in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. They asked, hey, how's the industry doing? Have we turned the corner? What are the biggest issues facing the fire service? What, are, what products are most important to Darley? What's new for Darley coming down the pipeline? And what keeps you awake at night? So if you're interested in, uh, in that, you can download that file. And I talked to the market conditions primarily for fire. On the defense side of our business, we're just just back from the AUSA show in Washington, D.C. It was a good show. That's the Army show. Uh, it was a very good show for us. We had a very strong presence there with our Darley defense team. And all in all, the show was better attended in 2013 than 2014, than 2012. And in 2014, we're actually going to have a strong presence there. We'll have our LE600 pump in our booth and some other exciting defense products like we had this year, including water purification and drone. And the amount of interest in those type of defense products was really uh, significant. November 11th, as I'm sure you're aware, is Veterans Day, and I'll tell you, Darley's really proud of the initiative that we've taken here at, at our company to hire veterans, and I think we hired 20 veterans just in the last year, and currently, uh, one-third of our workforce is now veterans, and they're just awesome people. They understand the task. They go to, uh, they, they, they understand the mission, and they uh, forge ahead with it, so if your company's not doing uh, its share to hire veterans, we would encourage you to do so. The last attachment here for you, too, if you do a business with the Department of Defense or if you're in the military, is a great article from Jim McAleese, who is really one of the foremost uh, authorities. He runs a legal and consulting firm out of Washington, D.C., McAleese and Associates, and really has a good beat on what's going on in Washington with regard to defense spending and things. So we'd encourage you to take a look at that document. So thanks for tuning in to this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to assist you, we hope you'll reach out to us.